In this video, I'll talk about this MIDI to CV build I just wrapped up. But before we get to the hardware, let's talk about 1. What CV is, 2. What MIDI is, and 3. Why you'd want to convert between the two. A lot of analog synthesizers, such as the ones I built myself, require analog voltages to control them. These are called CV or control voltages. To control pitch, for example, 1 volt can represent a C note, while 1.17 volts can represent a D note. CV can also be used with a lot of other stuff such as filters, volume, or levels of an effect. In Eurorack systems, CV inputs, just like with audio signals, can be connected using 3.5mm mono cables, such as this one. MIDI, on the other hand, is a digital standard used to allow two or more digital devices to talk to each other. This means it transmits messages using a fast series of on and off signals represented as ones and zeros instead of the continuous voltages used by CV devices. A C4 in MIDI, for instance, would look like this. It's made up of a couple of parts. A status byte which tells the receiver that it's a note on message, as well as the MIDI channel we're on. The MIDI channel lets us control multiple devices using one controller. The second byte tells the receiver what note number is being triggered. And the final byte tells the receiver how loud to play that note. This is also called velocity. There are a lot more other types of MIDI messages, but I'm sure you can find videos by other people who can explain those concepts better than me. MIDI and CV are two totally different protocols. MIDI is digital, while CV is analog. But what if I want to control an analog synth, such as this one, using a MIDI controller? That's where the MIDI to CV converter comes in. This is my Korg Cross 2. It's just your standard electric piano. A couple of keys, a set of wheels, but if you look in the back, you'll see a pair of MIDI jacks. One is labeled MIDI in and the other MIDI out. But right now we have a MIDI cable plugged into the MIDI output. At the other end of that cable, we now see our MIDI to CV module. Also, if I press on some keys, things start to happen. Let's talk about the outputs one by one. Here I have it hooked up to my oscilloscope so we can visualize the output. The first one is a voltage per octave output. This is typically used to control pitch. It has a range of 0 to 7 volts. That roughly translates to 7 octaves. To demonstrate, here's a single octave on the oscilloscope. The next one is called Velocity. This is controlled by how hard you press on the keys. Right now I have it hooked up to my filter, so you'll notice more treble coming through the harder I press. The next three are called gate controls. These are the ones that have only two possible values, on or off. I also added LEDs so we can see their current status. The first one is called gate. This one is on whenever at least one note is held down. I use this to control my VCA, which controls when the sound from my oscillator comes through. The trigger output fires a short burst every time a new note is pressed, and that's regardless of how long the key is held down. The 
clock output is just a steady pulse based on the BPM set on the MIDI controller. Here, I'm changing the tempo using a knob on the MIDI controller. The next one are the wheel controls. The control output sends out a voltage from 0 to 5 volts based on the position of this control wheel on the keyboard. Can be used for any kind of CV input. Here I'm using it to control my low pass filter. Similarly, the pitch output sends out a voltage from 0 to 1 volt. This can be controlled by the pitch wheel on the keyboard. This one you typically use for pitch bends. Because the MIDI to CV module is in mono, we have to choose which pitch to play when multiple notes are pressed on the keyboard. That's what the note priority toggle is for. High always plays the highest active note. Low always plays the lowest. And last always plays the last note pressed. This particular build is powered by a 9V pedal power supply, but I was also able to build one that runs on 12V not too long ago. It is based around an Arduino Nano. My reference for this project is by LKM on GitHub. I have my docs, schematics, and code for this on my website, benjaumodular.com. Let me know what you think and see you on the next video.